Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich, or WX Brad on Twitter, if you follow me there, or on Facebook or Google+. Quick update on the weather situation. It's kind of a complex setup today. It's not an overly high risk of severe storms today, but there's a couple areas we're going to have to watch. You're looking currently at conditions at about 11.45 this morning, so roughly before noontime. We're up to 77 degrees in Charlotte. Um, we've got some very muggy air in place. In fact, I'm going to put the dew points up there. Dew points around Charlotte, you can see, are in the mid to upper 60s. So this is pretty juicy air here. And you notice where we're getting breaks in the clouds through here and even up into eastern North Carolina. This is the area we're going to watch for concern because if you look down in Georgia, I'm going to turn off the uh, dew points. You can see we've got a, a prefrontal band forming, and you see this orange box. That's what we call a mesoscale discussion. It means the area is being monitored for a possible severe or tornado watch. In this case, likely a severe thunderstorm watch. You can see the main front is still back to the west. In fact, let me turn the temperatures back on, and it's pretty easy to see where the front is. It's in the 70s in southeastern Georgia and eastern Georgia, but it's only in the upper 50s and 40s back here into Alabama. So there's your cold front. It's a pretty potent front uh, that's moving across the country, at least for this time of year. One thing I want to show you is a couple of things of note on the mesoanalysis, which is what's going on in the atmosphere. First is STP, or the significant tornado parameter. Uh, there's a couple spots that are perking up, but nothing I would call particularly high uh, right now across our region. The other thing I like to look at is what we call the supercell parameter, S, uh, SCP. So you can see supercell parameters are pretty elevated here across the low country of South Carolina, eastern North Carolina, and most of Georgia. And that should be a good indication of, you know, the kind of, the kind of instability and potential for isolated cells ahead of the main line. I want to look at a little bit of model data. Uh, we're going to look at the high resolution uh, what we call the HER model, which is a very high resolution model. I want to look at the 850 winds, something we refer to often as the low level jet. And you can see how strong this low level jet is across our area. And if you've been outside today, you probably have noticed this. It's basically been those gusty south and southwest winds. Uh, the winds are howling out ahead of the main line. So there's a lot of wind energy in the atmosphere, but you notice how these are kind of uh, what we call parallel to the front. So that would not indicate a lot of rotation, but cells that form out ahead of the line, uh, especially if they form this direction, may have a little bit of spin with them from the lowest levels of the atmosphere to the mid-levels of the atmosphere. So I would anticipate uh, any storms that develop ahead of the line will have the potential to rotate, but the real threat is going to be this main line uh, back to the west. So let's look at some other model data as far as what's, the, uh, what's it going to look like by this afternoon. Same model, short range, uh, HRR model. Let's look at the future radar. Uh, going out in the future and again uh, we'll go out to about uh, one o'clock this afternoon and you can see uh, the main line moving into western North Carolina but it's these cells out ahead of it that you really got to pay attention to if these should get going um, by two o'clock then these would have the potential for isolated tornadoes and then within the main line if we see any squiggles that I like to call it's kind of a that's meteorological jargon for what we call QLCS if this thing squiggles like this anytime you get these little notches where you're bowing out or going back, you can get some rotation because you got to remember this is the way the winds are going like this. Uh, so sometimes you can get rotation in those little notches. So that's the one thing you watch for with the squall line. Those are usually short lived, very hard to warn for. You typically um, don't get much of a heads up on that. And as we go out into the afternoon, you can see the squall line advances, uh, advances to the east. And by uh, 8 p.m. tonight, it's over Raleigh and heading towards Interstate 95, and you can actually see one of those squiggles or bow echoes with maybe an embedded rotation down here in South Carolina. So that's what we're watching for this afternoon. Right now, nothing imminent. Um, the only thing we're keeping an eye on is these storms down in, in, in Georgia, and really that's where the biggest threat is up here in North Carolina, even though it's kind of warm and humid right now. We just don't have a lot of sunshine. There's a few breaks around Charlotte, but with clouds to our west, it's really deterring uh, storms from going. So there is a slight risk for severe weather today. I think we will see some gusty winds. Can't rule out an isolated tornado, but uh, that threat is going to be small. They're going to be weak, short-lived tornadoes. Uh, we will probably experience more winds with those strong southwest winds ahead of the front right now. 
that's what I'm concerned about. We could see a, a thunderstorm pick those winds up, maybe gust them up to 50 or 60 miles an hour. Of course, I'll keep things up to date online. We've got a lot of breaking news, obviously, with the stuff going on in Boston, but we've got a lot of active weather here. Please don't, uh, you may get lost in your Twitter feed, um, some of the weather updates. So make sure you're going back and checking my Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter feed for any updates. I'll keep things going throughout the afternoon until 4 o'clock. I'll be on the air then. We'll have some updates as well uh, through, the, through the evening. Hope you have a great day, and please uh, keep an eye on the sky today.